How's it going everyone? CM32 here for another video for you. Happy Shining Fates weekend. And to celebrate this weekend, I have a Shining Fates Elite Trainer Box to open. Let me tell you that this thing was pretty hard to find, and I'll tell you more why later in the video. So without further ado, cue the intro. So here we have the Elite Trainer Box in all its glory. So this Trainer Box is part of the Shining Fates subset that came out this weekend actually, if you didn't catch the first part of the video. And it features the EV VMAX artwork on the front of it, compared to the last subset, which featured the Charizard VMAX on it. And also, just like the last subset, this Elite Trainer Box includes a VMAX promo card of the Pokemon on the artwork, which in this case would be EV. So if we flip it to the back, we'll have our usual offerings of Elite Trainer Box products. So we'll always have the player's manual, which includes a whole set list of everything in Shiny Fates. 10 Shiny Fates packs, or 10 booster packs. Get some sleeves, which feature the nice artwork of EV VMAX. You also get some damage counters and some poison counters. You also get some dice as well, and a pack of energy, because who doesn't need a pack of energy? But let me tell you, obtaining one of these things was a pain and a half, for sure. So apparently, as of right now, these things are going for way above MSRP, double MSRP. Luckily, I was able to get mine at MSRP which is at 50 US dollars. All right, let's get the plastic off this and see what we get in the boosters, because I'm kind of excited. Even though that this product is kind of hard to find, I have a feeling that Pokemon Company will listen to the re listen to the demand and then actually reprint everything. All right, so now that we have the plastic off, let's see what we get inside. So we got, of course, this little player's guide, which features everything about Shining Fates, I believe. It's just the same as every other Elite Trainer box. Yeah, so it looks like you get a little description of every card that's in here, all the VMAX, or V cards at least. And of course you have the new Amazing Rares as well. So you have the Reshiram, the Kyogre, and the Yvitol. That's all great. Oh, and here we go. One of the Chaser cards right here, the Charizard VMAX. Hopefully I'll be able to pull this in, in this video. It'd be great. My luck with these subsets are actually pretty good. I was able to pull two Vimeax Charizards, Rainbow Rares, from the Champion's Path. So hopefully that trend continues here with this subset. But yeah, this is nice. It's a nice little player's guide. You get a little set list and everything. Let's see what else is in here. Oh yeah, of course the Shiny Vault 2.0, which is always lovely to collect. Now if Shining Fates wasn't scarce, I'd be able to pick up more products and actually complete the Shiny Vault, but just like the Hidden Fates Shiny Vault, I probably won't be able to complete it because of the scarcity of Pokemon products right now, which is such a shame. Yeah, look at all these Shiny Vault Pokemon. Oh, of course, we got uh, Shiny Ditto. Always nice. Yeah, that's great. And got some uh, ads on the back as well. All right, move this to the side for now. Let's get open. Let's get the box open. Let's see what's inside. You got the usual packaging for. Elite Trainer Box, they always include this little plastic thing to make sure it holds its shape and doesn't get damaged during shipping. Oh, you know what? It wasn't a little portfolio, it was actually a player's guide, or the rules of the game. I thought it was like a little portfolio, because they use the same artwork for uh, for one of those binder things. Little, little binder things that come with the lunch boxes. And of course you have the EV sleeves, which are very cute. I like these. They're going to be nice next to my Cosmic Eclipse sleeves I have on the side here. Since I ran out of penny sleeves and I don't really feel like getting more, uh, these will have to do for penny sleeves for now. Even though these are kind of expensive for penny sleeves, but what, what can you do? And of course you have get the pack energy, which is always nice. I have so much energy from opening so many Elite Trainer boxes, I don't know what to do with it. I don't really play the, the TCG card game too much, so they're, they're kind of just sitting there in the package. Of course you have the code card, and let's see what else is in here. The counters, I think. Yeah, the counters. So you got the dice and the counters. Let me get those in view. There you go. Not bad. Not bad at all. Nice little theme with the dice. They always have the same colors as whatever the set is. In this case, it would be Shining Fates. And of course, you got the dividers, which are nice for separating the cards in the Elite Training Box. And of course, you have the EV VMAX. All cute and fuzzy. Look at it, look at his big mane. That, that that's the big mane, man. Yeah, that's nice. I'm gonna keep down the plastic for now. And then you have the ten packs, of course, of Shining Fates. Hopefully, I can pull something great. It's nice of Elite Trainer boxes give you so many packs. I guess that's why everyone is buying them out. 
which is always a shame and a, a problem a growing problem in the pokemon community right now i'm gonna open up one of these it's just so hard to find pokemon products these days i'm sure everyone is is feeling the pain of all the scalping that's going on right now it's just horrible and it's kind of left me kind of wondering should i even open shining fates but you know i have i have a channel going and i'm like I, I have to do something i have to provide content for everyone so energy we got metal so we got Cramorant, got Gym Trainer, Rusted Sword, uh, Kecnia, a Choodle, Spinarak, Q Fat, Lost of Fleur, Reverse Hall of Horsey. Oh wow, that's nice. That's a nice art of Horsey. That, I haven't seen that in a while. Ooh, and we got Feeble. That's Alternate Art Feeble? Yeah, Alternate Art Feeble. Because I remember Feeble was in the other set. In base set, I think. Because it was the Evolved Form of Nicket. So that's nice. You got uh, two hollows in one pack. We're kind of generous with them. So our first pack not too, not too hot, but hopefully the second one will save it for us. But like I was mentioning, scalping has kind of grown into a huge problem in the Pokemon community. It just can't be helped with the pandemic and everything. Everyone's just trying to make some money right now. But you know, I'm not trying to defend them or anything, but definitely try to leave products for people who actually want to collect them instead of trying to just scalp it anyways i'm gonna guess the energy i'm gonna say grass uh water so we got ball guy we got dartrix eldegoss we got uh Morpeko. oh hey Morpeko with like snowball and uh rookity yeah rookity and choodle we got naked of course rookie yanma Ooh, we got our first shiny pokemon arcazolt Shiny Arthazolt. Oh, that's nice. I like the I like the new design on these on these shiny cards. It's always great. And we got Yan Mega. No shiny there, unfortunately. Unfortunately, but we do get a shiny vault card. Our first shiny vault card. And then now we have pack three. Here we go. The Charizard V Max. So I saw the pull rates for these, and they're not that bad. Out of a thousand seventy-one packs, I think. The ripple rate for a Charizard is 1 in 200, which is not as bad as Champion's Path. I think Champion's Path was like 1 in 400 for the rainbow. I want to say Fire Energy. Ah, Darkness. Alright, so we got uh, Luxio. You know Luxio was in here. And another Ball Guy. Ball Dude. Ball Dude is always welcome here. Uh, Tropius. Ooh, Eevee. Swimming Eevee. We got Nicket. Ooh, the regular horsey. I love this artwork of horsey. I've never seen horsey so up close like this before and so vibrant. Aw, cute little snom. Got another more Peko. Oh, reverse hall Rotom. Nice. And Celebi. Oh, hey, Celebi. Big ups. I don't think I pulled a Celebi on this channel yet. So it's nice to get. Put the Rotom in the pack. Alright, pack number four. Here we go with but I don't know which Pokemon this is. This is one of the new ones. Not too familiar with Sword and Shield Pokemon. I haven't played the games yet. I'm hoping that during the Pokemon... Pokemon Day? Yeah, Pokemon Day, that the game goes on sale. So I can actually pick it up for a good price. Because paying $60 for base po uh, Pokemon is kind of... Uh, it's kind of rare. Alright, so Leaf Energy. I can guess that one, so it's okay. So we got Rusted Shield. We got another Eldegoss, uh, Cramorant, got more Peko, got a Spinarak, another Snob, Grookey, Eevee, ooh, Galarian Darumaka, nice, and shiny too, I like that. Oh, first Rainbow Rare, I'll Creamy VMAX, I'll take it, not, not, not a Charizard, but I'll take it. Getting some good pulls already, I like it, this, this set is uh, treating me well so far. The, the, the Al Creamy V Max. I have the regular Al Creamy V Max, so it's nice to get the Rainbow Rare. That's that's great. I love it. First Rainbow Rare. Unfortunately, I think that means I won't be getting any other Rainbow Rares in this Elite Trainer Box. Unfortunately, just how it is. You only you only get one. It's not guaranteed, but you only get one. But who knows? Maybe I'll get two. Because they don't really map. I don't. I don't think. I don't want to call it mapping. It's more like they they make sure that you only get one rainbow rare in one of these, not uh, multiple ones. Because if it was possible to get multiple ones, I think I'd seen people getting multiple ones or posting pictures of getting multiple rainbow rares. 
Must say fire energy. Ah, lightning. So we got rusted shield. Got team yell towel. Got Eldegoss again. More Peko. Ooh, hey, coughing. Nice. I like that. Uh, Goss of Flare. Got Kecnia. Choodle. Ooh, Rift Halt Rusted Sword. Alright. Ooh, and our another second V Max. We, we got ourselves a Cramorant V Max. And this is, like, this is the full art. Yeah, full art, because you can tell by the hollow pattern. It's going diagonal. Nice. I like that. Not sure how viable Cramorant is in, in terms of as a Pokemon and Pokemon card. I can get this in the, in the plastic. I know people are gonna scream in the comments like, Oh my god, you're damaging the card! Yeah, I am. Unfortunately. But I am spatially challenged, so... Uh, unfortunately, that's, that's gonna happen from time to time. Alright. Here we go with another pack. We got Dragapult? Yeah, Dragapult. I know I know it's Dragapult because I pulled a Dragapult Rainbow Rare in, in Sword Shield base set. Here we go. Yeah, get that out of the way. For the front, I'm gonna say electric energy. Ooh, fighting. All right, so we got Dartrix. Got another ball guy. Ball guy is making a, a huge appearance in the video. He's he's the second he's the second uh, person on the screen. Anyways, we got Spawn. It's not the Spawn, is it? Uh, of course, the uh, Rotom. Oh, hey, another shiny bolt. It's nice that the shiny bolt's coming often. It's great. Uh, Carpool. And we got Professor's Research as a rare. Oh, all right. So I throw the card away. Professor's Research. This is what Professor... I don't know which Professor this is. This is, seems like a different Professor. Not the one that's in Galar, I think. Maybe it is. I'm not too sure. Anyways, Charizard VMAX. Here we go. Get, get, of course, if we pull the Charizard VMAX in the VMAX booster, It'd be nice. So for the front, yeah, four. I don't want to do the mistake of putting the rare in the front again. I've done that multiple times. You should probably put it in a compilation. I must say, grass energy. Oh, fire! All right, so we got gym trainer, uh, Fulaki. We got Cramorant, Grookey, Spinarak. Ooh, and nice, lovely Shinx, Horsey, Yanma. A reverse Holly and Mega, that's perfect. Ooh, and Indeedee. Okay. Not too familiar with this Pokemon. Probably from Sword and Shield. But yeah, I mean, getting a, a, a Hollow is nice. I'm running out of sleeves too, so I probably have to open up another pack while I'm at it. Alright. So third last? Yeah, third last booster. I mean, the pulls rates have been great so far. I'm liking the pulls I'm getting so far. It's no Charizard, but damn. They're actually kind of more generous than Hidden Fates, that's for sure. And more generous than Champion's Path. For most people. I know that most people were complaining in Champion's Path of getting mod champs all the time. And that didn't really happen too much often to, with me. I like maybe got like four mod champs. I managed to pull like two Charizard VMAX Rainbow Rares, so I mean like I mean pull rates may vary. I'm gonna say fire. Oh, psychic. So we got Rotom, of course. We got uh, Floatzel. We got a Rusted Sword. We got a Choodle. We got a Morpeko. We got Coughing. Gossifler. Uh, of course, cute little Rowlet. Oh! Oh my god, we got we got a gold card. And oh my god, look at the cut. I think that's horrible. Uh, I'm not sure. That's centering on the bottom there. That's, that looks horrible. But Eternatus VMAX. Gold. Wow, that was, that was great. And in the reverse hollow slot, too. I wonder what the, the rare is going to be. Oh, just right now. But wow, a gold card already. Too bad the centering is, is terrible as I, as I try to get into the sleeve. Uh, that's, it's just such a shame. That, that I don't think that's supposed to be there. Oh, I don't know, let me check the back of the card. Yeah, the bottom is a bit... There's a bit much on the bottom, unfortunately. But it's a gold card, so I'll take it. All right, Shine Fates, this feels pretty loaded. For some reason, it feels uh feels bloated compared to the rest of the packs I've opened. Maybe that's a good sign. Who knows? All right, for the front, I'm gonna say psychic. Ooh, metal. So I got Tropius, got uh, Cramorant, got Rusted Sword, Spinarak, Weasel, 
Poisel, yeah. Rollit. Uh, Trapinch. A little Stomp. A uh, cute little Q-Fat. And Manaphy. Alright. Not bad. Not bad at all. I think this is the last leave. Yeah. Last leave, unfortunately. So I'm gonna have to open up another pack of sleeves. Alright, last booster. Here we go. Last pack magic. Bless it a little bit. Managed to fill my sleeves while off camera. Hopefully the pack here is great for our last booster, our last pull. I'm gonna say psychic energy. Water. Alright. Not no biggie. Got ball guy again. Ball guy is always welcome. Tropius. Got rusted shield. A boizel. A sphinx. A shinx. Sorry, I said sphinx. Uh, coughing. A trapinch. A little rowlet. Oh, hey, Grookey. Nice. One one grass starter to another. And got Cinerace V. Oh, hey, not bad for a last pull. Got a V card at least, but, but hey, Cinerace V. Nice. But hey, we can show off these nice little Darkness of Blaze sleeves with the Eternus V Max on the back. Put that in there. You put the little Grookey in here too uh, while we're at it. It's nice. I like this. It's great. But wow, this set is pretty good. I like it already. It's just only one ETV, and we're, we're already pulling a lot of good stuff. It's great. So to recap the pulls of this video, we have, I'm gonna go through the, the rares first. So we got Yanmega, uh, Manaphy, got Dreadnought. I can't believe Dreadnought is a rare. We got Professor's Research, of course, that's always a rare for whatever reason. We got Celebi, which is nice. I like that. Then we have the Reverse Hollows and the Ultra Rares. So we got Grookey. We got Cinerace V, we got Lil Q Fant, we got the Gold Eternus V Max. That is nice. Look at that. That is a beautiful card. I like that. We got Yan Mega. We got Ndidi Hollow. But we got a couple additions to the Shiny Ball. We got Corkle. Carkle. We got Cramorant V. V Max, I mean. Uh, a Rusted Sword. Reverse Hollow. Another addition to the Shiny Vault. Darumaka. We got a Creamy V Max Rainbow Rare, which is nice. Got a Rotom, got a little Horsey, got a little Thievel, and our last but not least, Arctazolt. So if you liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, or a thumbs down if you didn't. And also be sure to subscribe for more content. I open up Pokemon products on a weekly basis. Unfortunately, Shiny Fates is kind of iffy right now. I have some Shiny Fates products, but I don't want to open them because of the scalping going on right now. Because I'm not sure if I'll be able to get others. Because I like to buy two of each item. So I have one for storage and one for a video. But unfortunately right now, as it stands, Shiny Fates is kind of iffy. So tune in next week for another random thing I'll probably open. I'm not sure what, but I'll probably decide by next week. So I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.